Food is based on providing consumers access to products that they wouldn't normally have access to. We are working to reinvent the consumer experience at a retail level for seafood by providing high quality products to our customers. My name is Brian Zaliga. I'm the owner of Fishtown Seafood. We are a retail shop located in the neighborhood of Fishtown in Philadelphia. I grew up in Colorado and I spent time fly fishing, practice catch and release, started to gain a connection to the environment. From Colorado, I moved to Portland, Oregon, went to culinary school and started working for some James Beard award-winning chefs. I started learning about all the differences of what people read about with sustainability and what's actually happening on the water from a conservation perspective. So what is happening and what is going to happen over time is salmon in California over time are no longer gonna exist because of global warming. Similar things are happening on the East Coast. Dams are removed as the rivers are cleaned. There's still no hope of Atlantic salmon migrating from those rivers out to sea back through Long Island Sound to those rivers because of global warming. As humans, we need to change the way we eat and what we eat and how we eat and how supply chains work. We need to consume products that are lower on carbon footprint. We need to be more mindful of animal welfare. We need to be more aware of environmental impacts and agricultural runoff and agricultural spread. I think the future will be products that do really well, that have good flavor, have good texture, and are priced appropriately for consumers to give them a try. Then they'll enjoy them, and then they'll be able to add that into their weekly or monthly um, diet. As a business, we view plant-based seafood alternatives as a growth market. We know that a lot of companies don't support plant-based seafood, and we view that as an opportunity to be ahead of the curve. As consumers eat less animal proteins, we will be in a position where we have supply chains built around plant-based alternatives. We'll have a customer base that consumes plant-based alternatives. We'll be known as a seafood shop that has plant-based seafood alternatives for people who have seafood allergies, for people who want to consume lower carbon footprint, or for consumers who are um, concerned about animal welfare. We'll have those options for them and we will be ahead of the rest of the market. There is room for growth. And I think the question there is how well can the brands do with creating affordable, accessible, high quality product that is of good flavor and good texture.